what a shit. Look at this dirt here. This, this is a brand new duct. Look how sticky it is. It almost sticks to my hand. This is there's blue film around it on three sides to protect the surface and when you remove it this is all this sticky stuff and now it gets dirty like hell so I need to clean the whole duct before I put it on the wall this was a total ripoff again I was at Heyman's here in Australia electrical wholesaler and they charged me $80 for a 4 meter 50 by 50 duct yes $80 right and I only bought it because they gave me this here for ten dollars this is a two meter full length of 100 by 40 slotted duct and they gave me this one for ten dollars because it was sitting in there they they had it for a long time and didn't sell it but i looked it up on ebay these ducts they are being sold for about 25 26 dollars in brisbane but you have to pick it up yourself and i wanted it right now you know, I don't want to drive one and a half hours to Brisbane and back to pick up this bloody cable duct. But this is the worst quality ever here. This sticky shit. I need to have cleaner and clean this all up. It looks like shit here. Sticky ass. Anyway, this is what you have to do. Welcome back to another episode here from the Offgrid Garage. A quick update show. Oh, I can't even turn on the light. This one it is. Yes, yes, bright light. I have to apologize for the lighting situation here in the garage. We are a bit in an emergency lighting situation at the moment. <laughs> Guys, we did it. Oh, wait, you did it. I can't believe I received an email this morning from YouTube and the off grid garage in sunny hot Australia is on the trending website of YouTube with Dude Perfect, PewDiePie and some other YouTubers. I don't know who they are actually. The off pick Garage is featured for 24 hours. Thanks to all your support here, all your commenting, liking, disliking, all the interaction you do here. Amazing. Unbelievable. Trending. <laughs> and of course, welcome to all the new subscribers. Yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you have seen this channel here on YouTube Trending, clicked on it and subscribed. That'll be amazing. Okay, so just a quick update. I was starting to reply on all your comments of the last video where I talked about the SPD, the search protection device for solar systems. And I repeated myself all the time because, well, for, for two reasons, basically. So first of all, the SPD, the SPD devices, these devices won't help you if you have a direct, if you have a direct lighting strike on your house or on your building. This is an SPD, a surge protection device. If you want to protect your house or your building from lightning strikes, you need to build an LPS, a lighting protection system. This is when you have these little spikes on your, on your roof and they are connected with this big silver wire on these isolators and then the big wire goes down your house wall on the side and goes into the ground this is an lps a lightning protection system totally different from an spd you can have an spd as well so you can have both a lightning protection system and a surge protection system potentially that makes actually sense to have both but these spds they won't protect they won't protect you from lightning, from a direct lightning strike at all. So there was a bit of a confusion, misconception, um, wrong information out there in the community. So I just want to make this clear. There are two different, totally separate systems. And the next one, well, this was actually in regards to my question, how to ground this one, because the manual clearly says these cables need to be as short as possible. In fact, all three cables can't be longer than half a meter and in these examples online you can find there's always a connection here from the ground terminal to a small bus bar in the combiner box in your switchboard or something and this is then earthed to your main earth rod outside or something then and my question was well how do i do this here because there is no earth cable no ground cable in this combiner box for your incoming solar 
And many people have said, well, you can't see the forest because of all the trees, right? You've got the metal beam there of your garage. This is all this metal here. This is all grounded already. While this is true, I cannot use any metal stuff here in the garage for electrical grounding. This is just not allowed. This is just not possible. I cannot here, for example, I, I could not use I could not use this switchboard here and screw it to a wall and then have a connection here from from the and then we have a connection here from the ground terminal just across to the beam where it's screwed on this because we don't know how good these parts are all connected to each other yes they are bolted together but these beams they are sitting on top of each other and there might be some rust in between some dirt some dust or even plastic from from transport you know them they may have been wrapped in plastic when they came, like this um, stupid cable duct here. And there could be insulating material in between. We don't know. But I'm 99.9% .9 sure we cannot use any of the framing here inside the garage for electrical grounding. And I'm also sure this is the same rule in almost all countries worldwide, right? And while the garage frame is grounded somewhere to the earth rod, this is not a proper ground connection because we don't know how good all these parts are connected together. See, the, the outside metal here is actually painted. So I would expect where they connect to the galvanized steel up there, there's a really bad connection and only the screws are actually connecting this electrically. But we certainly cannot use these connections as a proper ground connection. But as always, if you have more information about all this, leave your comments down below and we can all learn from each other because I am not an expert in all of this and I'm still learning along with you as well. Okay, guys, so far this quick video, this light is so bright. I have actually mounted our panels today with all the countersunk screws. So these two panels are ready and we now have to work on the um, inverter. And was a word missing. We have now to work on the inverter panels yeah, I want to do a bit of a stress test before we actually hang the inverters on these aluminium panels there and see if these screws are actually holding up. Clearly, if they can hold me, they will hold a 30 kilo inverter, right? But all this will come in the next video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here. Trending on YouTube. <laughs> and until the next video, stay charged and stay safe. Thanks again for watching, guys and your support. See you then. Bye bye. Hey, is this something an electrician has to do these days? Cleaning up the cable duct with alcohol so it doesn't stick anymore. Look at this shit here. I can't believe it. What a shit. This is the worst quality ever.